right, Lockdown University, class is in session. This is a team defensive stopping the rim run and playing good perimeter defense class. That's what we got right here today, man. Uh, before we get started, though, make sure y'all like the video and comment LDU at the end of your comment. By doing that, you're going to do two things. You're going to enter yourself into two different drawings. We're going to pick a random video at the end of the week, and we're going to be giving away $50 or a copy of 2K or $50 in VC. However you want it, any way you want it, I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you that $50, or you get the copy of 2K. It's going to be the extra regular. That's addition. Also, at the end of the month, if we can average 10K views, and we are on track to do that, we're going to be giving away a, a, a next-gen console. So we're going to be giving away either a PlayStation or we'll give away an Xbox. It's going to be the console of your choice, man. Make sure you get involved. All you got to do, like the videos, comment LDU at the end of this one and the other videos. You can watch those, comment on them if you want to. It'll increase your chances of winning because I'm going to choose a random video. I'm going to choose the winner from a random video, but at the same time, if you are uh, if you if you just come in on one you got a good chance to win if you come in on all of them it, it it multiplies your chances of winning exponentially so that's all we got man now let's just get right into the video like i said like the video comment ldu you get a chance to win 50 dollars at the end of the week regardless of what happens and you get a chance to win a next gen console that we'll be giving away at the end of the month so check it out right off the bat man this is a six nine y'all already know what i'm gonna say man i'm gonna test this hard right here so boom Y'all know I'm trying. We we try to play a great team defense, and I'm gonna show you how he scored on us on this one right here. The first thing that I did wrong is I'm gonna show you exactly what I did wrong. When that pass went to the corner, and I knew that that pass was gonna come back out of the corner, this is my problem right here. In 2K, this is the card. This is a cardinal sin. What I should be doing, I should be playing outside leverage on this shoulder and cutting this off because no matter what. When they see you coming this way, they're gonna automatically go this way. That's what's gonna happen every single time in 2K. They see you coming, they're gonna go the opposite way uh, instinctually. So that's what he does. He does that, hesitates, kind of shows me his hand because he shows that he's a, he showed me two things on this, that he changed direction and he's a hesitator. So with that being the case, I take that and I keep that in mind and I say, well, you wanna change directions and, and you're a hesitator, I got you, my boy. I'm gonna play you like this right here. So check it out. I learned my lesson from last time. My guys, they're all they already there. I'm playing outside leverage. If you're a DB, what's your best friend? This is your best friend right here, the sideline, right? So with, with him getting himself into trouble, I already know what I want to do. I want to keep him between the sideline and um between me and the sideline. That's what I want to do. So right here, right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward a little bit. Boom. I wanna keep doing this, but right here, it allowed me, he allowed me to get into his space and get and get right on top of the ball. Right here, I am pressing the button. I got my right, my left hand is lined up here. I promise you I'm pressing that button right now. But the way that it's gonna manifest itself is gonna be kind of crazy. I'm hitting the button right now, but because he switched the ball back to this hand. They decided they're going to give me the steal right here because it's an excellent place to go for the steal. But because he switched the ball to the other hand and they've already decided they're going to give me the steal, they had to make it manifest itself in a different way. And for some reason, they never let me get these steals, man. But you know, it is what it is. It goes out on him. We get the ball. Yet again, you're going to see another steal. I get there and I get on that rim. Oh, rim, rim. On that rim for me. Let me show y'all what I did right here, bro. Now this this is this is the second one. We know that he changed his direction. Like we know that his only big that his big thing is changing direction. So I got my boy Gambit right here. He's got this locked up. Um, if he goes this way, he can't go anywhere. He can't even go here because Gambit is here and his guy's here. So he can't even go in that direction. So I learned my lesson from the first time. We're going to play outside leverage. I'm trying to squeeze him and force him to go to Gambit. So if he wants to do anything, he's not going to be able to come this way. I'm trying to cut that off. We're trying to cut the court off. I want him to think that his only chance is to try to shoot that gap, at which time Gambit will come over the top and cut that off. And then I would go directly to Gambit's guy. But if he tries to dribble into me, I'm gonna steal the ball, and that's exactly what he tried to do. Y'all see what y'all see what I exactly what I said. I'm gonna main I'm gonna maintain outside leverage because what I want him to do is come here. He does exactly what I want him to do. Right now, I'm lined up. 
My left hand is lined up with the ball. This is an excellent time for me to hit the button. And I do. And because he, again, because once again, he switched hands, it manifests itself with me stealing the ball on the other side. But I promise, look, I'm hitting the button right here. You see I hit the button right there, right? Like you see my hand shoot for the ball right there. You see, you, oh, there we go, right there, boom. You see that my hand is shooting for the ball already, but he hey, he crossed over, he came up. It manifested itself in an unfortunate way for him, and I get on that ram, oh, ram. Y'all already know what time it is. Hey, third play, third play, here we go. Now, y'all already know what, what, my, what my motto is. Maintain outside leverage. So, cause I know he wants to change direction into me. That's his big thing. And this is my best friend right here, the sideline. And like I said, I got my big bro Gambit sitting here watching everything. Now his only path is gonna be either to go here or to make this pass back to his guy. He also got a, he's also got a pass over here that he can make because Brute is back here playing free safety. He playing center field. If anything break down, Brute gonna get it on that side. So boom, he makes the smart decision here because he knew he was there at the right. Right here, there's nothing he can do. I'm getting ready to close this gap and try to see if I can if I can test this hard again and get another steal. But he says, nope, you're not about to do that to me. I'm gonna make the pass. Right here, right here, he makes the pass. But Gambit recognizes that this, I, I try to go for the steal, but what Gambit recognizes is this guy don't wanna dribble the ball. So I go for the steal right here. I was gonna keep going on through on that. And then I will come back here if Gambit decides to pick this guy up right here. But Gambit sees this. You see Gambit's eyes is right at this guy. He sees this as a perfect opportunity to take a, um, well, he sees that this fella is gonna try to go here. He already sees that. So what he's gonna do, he's gonna try to take that away from him because he knows I'm trailing. He knows I'm gonna trail him on into the paint. So what Gambit's gonna do is try to take this away. And uh, if this guy tries to do, if this fella right here tries to do anything at all, he can close out on it. But what ends up happening is he throws the ball and uh, yeah, we get the interception. And then we go on down court and now we gonna, we gonna score that. But the main thing is you also see that I come back to this guy because I'm like, hey, if he, once I saw him get the pick, we out of here, Jack. All right, up next, here we go yet again. This is this this, this is a common theme that y'all are seeing, right? That I, I really do learn my lesson after you do something to me one time. Yet again, I'm, I'm maintaining outside leverage. We got Brutus him on the scene, Wicked and Mean, in here playing free safety. We got Gambit with uh he he can he can go back in here and help if he wants to and we can just switch it off however we want to but here we go right here boom i go here i immediately go to brute's man he runs by brute is gonna try to beat him to the rim and you already see gambit over here taking a look he's looking in the backfield so let's see what happens boom we get the block and then you know we gonna get down court and we gonna try to get the score as quickly as possible up next here we go yet again he's dribbling 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 he crosses over goes into gambit and look, look at the switches right here. This, this is one of the things I want y'all to know. All right, so he's gonna set the screen. I'm already telling Gambit right now, we know that Gambit can, can play him, so we don't gotta worry about that. I'm saying Gambit, I'm staying left regardless of what happens. So Gambit picks him up. I get hit by the screen. I kind of move in there a little bit. I'm, tra I'm, I'm tracing, tracing, tracing. Bam. This is a very important time right here because right here they're allowing one person to guard two people and Gambit, Gambit's eyes are in the backfield over here and Brute is over there. I'm telling Gambit, Gambit, I got first pass. When I tell him I got first pass, that means that if this guy passes this ball, wherever he passes it to first, that's where I'm gonna be going. So he throws first pass up top. I go with him immediately, Gambit falls back. Here we go. We try to get the stop, but hey, sometimes defense is just gonna be offense, man. That's just how it is. But we had that perfectly set up with the cross and stuff like that. Here we go again. He got a lot of direction changing, a lot of stuff going. Those guys are just staying at home. And uh, right here, let, let me let me show y'all one thing right here. So now I know I know his main move is is the hesitation. Right here, when you're playing ISO and you know you got one of those guys, man, the one thing that you want to do is this. This is what I tell you. This is this is what I got. I got this right here. I got this triangle. Gambit got anything that comes in here. Root is going to take anything that comes in here. And then Gambit also takes the hash if, he, if he's a fader or something like that. And Brute takes everything up to the hash. This is all I'm responsible for is this in here. If you ain't got active corners, you're not stopping anything in isolation. So you see this right here? 
Root, he did a little fake baby pinch, and that allowed me to get in front of him and get the stop right here. And then, you know, the play just breaks down for them. Right here, I'm telling Brute, hey, Brute, let me back it up real quick for you, real quick. So right here, I'm telling Brute, I'm gonna stay right regardless, because a lot of times you can get confused on this, they'll run another cross or whatever. I'm telling him I'm staying right regardless. So that lets him know that he's gonna have to pick this guy up right here. Well, this is him. He's gonna have to pick that guy up right here. That also indicates the gambit that you gotta stay with your man because that's what we gonna do. Boom. I'm staying, I stay right regardless. Dude try to ISO Brute. There's nothing he can do. Uh, time goes down, Brute gets, he just gets a great, he, he just, it, me telling him in this situation that I'm gonna stay right regardless, that just allowed him to know that, hey, I can go ahead and, and play this leverage right here and try to stop him from getting to the rim. So I, I don't have to worry about none of that over there. He ain't got to worry about none of, that, none of that. Boom. And yet again, at the same time, look, you see Gambit do this little, this is so important. This is so underrated. This is so underrated because if he doesn't do this little baby pinch, because like I said, this is all Gambit's area right here. It, it, the rules don't change. This is Brute's area. This is Gambit's area. You can't come into my zone, and this is my zone over here. You can't come into here. This little baby pinch stops him from bowing this all the way out and going around Brute. So he makes the little baby pinch, and then that gives Brute time to get underneath. Boom, we get to stop, and we go on down court. He gets it out real quick and gets on that rim. That's, 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 this is how we trying to play basketball, and this is how I'm trying to teach y'all to play basketball. We're gonna kind of just let it roll from here on, on a lot of these situations, but you know, little inside out, little stop right here. Yet again, you're gonna see, you're gonna see what happens on this. Gambit's gonna get the stop. Look, this is, this is another one of those things that I'm talking about. Once again, when you play an ISO or something like this, this is my area. Gambit got to take, you see he already standing in there so he can't take a crazy path. And then this is Brute's area right here. And you're going to see how it plays out perfectly. He's going to he's gonna drive, drive, drive. Right here, right here. I thought he wanted to hesitate, but uh, but he doesn't get, he, he got me on that. So now, again, your corner's got to be active. I say go Gambit. I'm going to drop to the corner. I'm going to drop to the corner. So Gambit's going to come over here. He's going to cut that off. I got to drop the Gambit's corner. And then you see what happens right here. I follow, I follow him in, but then I'm telling him to go. Once I'm sure the game is gonna go, boom. We get the ball, get down court, and then uh, you know we're gonna try to get the bucket. I don't know what we did right here. Is he just gonna do a quick pass? He gonna get on the rim, pump fake? Yeah, there we go. Get on the rim backwards. So that's just that's another way that we score. That we that we get a stop right there. It's just you gotta let the guy know. Again, that was one of those ones where I where I be where I will tell my guys that I I'll say I got it, and then. I, I'll, I won't go as soon as I say I got it. I should just say I got it, and then I should go. Again, you see Brute playing magnificent defense on the perimeter right here, man. Now, he does get it, he does get it because he was expecting me uh, to go to go with his guy, but my dude did a little inside out. That, that's how they scored on that. So you see how you see how both of us, everybody did go down. But uh my guy went back door. And then, so normally what would happen is I would take care of all of this in here and then Brute would drop to the corner, but there was nobody, there was no corner to drop to at that. And so he did an in and out. And then when he saw me go with his guy, actually, I'm gonna show y'all what really happened. I ain't even gonna count. I went for the steal. He pushed him to me, I was there. I went for the steal, I got steal hungry. And then I let him go because right here you see Brute getting ready to go take my guy. I said, I'm supposed to just get solid in front of him and cut that off. But like I said, again, it doesn't work all the time because I went for the steal. And I know, I know Brute saying, Jay, you went for the steal. You damn right I went for that steal. Brute, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Right here, Brute gets plucked. He tried to protect the ball. They get down court, but we don't give up on plays right here. We get a great contest. I mean, it, it ain't, it's nothing. It's not a whole lot to break down on that one right there, bro. It's, it's just not a whole lot to break down. He gets plucked. And uh, look, I got Hall of Fame. Oh yeah, yes, it is something to break down. I have Hall of Fame Challenger, and I told y'all the other day, look, when you got Hall of Fame Challenger, if you see this right here, I'm in the defensive bubble right here. Once that pops up, that means I'm in the defensive bubble, and you know that with Hall of Fame Challenger, I can get a good challenge. I jump, get a good challenge. We can't see what it is because I don't have it on, but you know it is what it is. Get down court, we throw an interception, but then look, we continue to stay on it, and uh, like I said, you don't just, you don't relax ever for a second. Don't give up on the play. Don't do none of that. Look, right here, right here, 
what he should have done is he should have just threw the ball ahead to his guy. That's what he should have done. But a lot of times, because this guy got a he's got a clean he got a clean route to the basket and he got a clean pass there and uh gambit is behind that like, gambit might like he's not gonna be able to catch up with that and brute may get the chase down but who knows but he threw it back to his guy i'm already standing here this is just a little bump steal right here bro it's, it's a little bump steal very unfortunate for them uh bump steal it just let it go out of bounds on his leg but that's just just not giving up on the play that's just how it goes right there and uh we pretty much are almost done with the video now so now Brute understands that he just got got the ball stolen from behind. So now we just we set up a little quick play. And uh you see, this time he's able to protect the ball because he knows these guys are blitzing. He know they you know it's desperation time. They gotta do something uh to get it. So now we are saying we know that they're gonna go for a lot of steals. What we're gonna do is just go for quick hitters. Boom. Up and up and down. This is this is a quick that, that's that's nothing right there. This is just this is just 2K101, man. A quick A cut. It's, that's all it is, a quick A cut or B cut, whatever you want to call it. He comes up, he goes down. And, you know, everybody runs this in 2K already, so it ain't nothing really much to explain. Get on the rim real quick. Boom, there we go. Uh, up next, we're not even going to break stride. We're going to do it. We're going to do everything that we were doing yet again. Once again, it looks like he's going to set up the ISO. Again, this is my area. Again, you see Gambit already sitting in his area. This is his area. This is Brutal Sam's area. All this over here. You can't be trying to cover too much ground. Here we go. Boom. And like I said, you're going to need a team in order to do any of this stuff, man. He tries to do the step back. I've already told, I will promise you that I already told Gambit, Gambit, we know he's going to try to go for some threes right here. So once again, you see, like I said, I learned my lesson the first time. I know what I'm trying to do. I know that I can't stop him on everything. I know he's trying to do the step back. Have y'all noticed that I've played outside leverage every single time? Because I don't want him to come back, but I do want him to. What I do want him to do is think he's got that, and I want him to go to Gambit. And so when he goes to Gambit, Gambit can intersect him right there, and then, you know, it's, it's just going to be a bad day for him. So, boom. I'm pushing. I say, Gambit, I'm pushing him at you. But because I'm still on his arm, I tried to go. I think I tried to go for the steal right there. I didn't try to go for the steal. I just ran up his back. I just ran up his back, and then I take Gambit's corner. But we saw the animation, so boom. I take his corner. He steps up for me. That's a great stop right there. Brute, learning from his past mistake, he just gets on the rim. We not giving him no time to try to steal the ball again. Now he got the galaxy open on him. It's the same thing right here. Now they're gonna try to set the screen. And right here, I'm saying, I'm saying, um, you know, I, I say I got him, I got him, I got him. Gambit is, you know, he was gonna try to do it. We were gonna switch that, but I'm like. I don't think he can score right here because he's got the, um, you know, he got this Galaxy Opal thing going on. This is just regular defense right here. All I got to do is just play straight up defense, and and we should be able to get this stop. Once again, I think they're gonna score right here though. Um, I don't know why though, but you know, we you, we, you see us set up. You see, I'm kind of baiting inside a little bit just because you know that's what I do. Ah, that's what it was. That's what it was. Yep, that's exactly what it was. They made Gambit reach right there. Again. We got this set up perfectly. This is Brutal Sam stuff right here. You see me already standing in here. I'm baiting. Whichever way he goes, that person is going to take it. You know, who, whoever it is, they're going to take it. So, boom, he goes around. Gambit is already there. But he missed the swipe. Um, I don't even know why they made him swipe, but it is what it is. And uh, that's that's where we go. Again, here we go yet again. He, we know that he's going to go for the steal. Brutus is not going for that. Quick drop off one. And, uh, and there we go. And then last but not least, man, I think this is going to be like the last play of the game. Again, we set up in an ISO situation. When we're set up in the ISO situation yet again, I can't say it enough. This is what I'm responsible for. My teammates are responsible for this. I'm only responsible. Only thing I'm responsible for is pushing him to one of my teammates. I either want to push him here or here because I know that's where I got help. I'm here. I know he's going to get ready to take the shot. He knows that he got that he's cold. He can't take that shot. Throws it to Brute's man. Brute jumps. Gets a good contest, some kind of how. And uh boom, that's where we go. And then we just end the game right there, man. And like I said, it's a great. This is just team defense at its finest. I know I'm long-winded in the video, and I know I keep telling y'all the same thing over and over, but I want y'all to understand that I practice what I preach. We really do this stuff, man. Like the way that we do it. Is how we do it, and we want and we want to make sure that that y'all understand what we're doing in in certain situations. And the only reason I'm down here at the end is because I want to kind of show y'all what end up happening. And like I said, Jinx is a great player. I ain't, I'm not taking nothing away from him. But look, this is what we able to do. They scored eight points, two for six, two for four. 
I had uh, one steal, the other one just came off his body. And uh, you know, we were able to make this thing work out, man. But like I said, team defense is the dream defense. Like I said, if you made it this far, man, put LDU down in the comment section. Make sure you like the video and I'm holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Channel. Guys, speak. Guys, speak.